This exercise is based on the assumption that no matter how much you might like to be, you are not the hero of your own story. So if you're not the hero, it asks, what kind of mentor are you? But how are you going to help the hero of the story? This technique comes from Jonas Sachs' Winning the Story Wars. And he suggests there are seven kinds of mentor. The first one is the pioneer. An example of this is Amelia Earhart, the aviator. Or you could have Bear Grylls or Yuri Gagarin. It's anyone who's curious, brave and optimistic. The pioneer calls the hero to explore new territory. Pioneer brands that we're familiar with might be North Face or Jeep. Then we meet the rebel mentor, and this kind of person is the rule breaker. So a great example of a rebel is Banksy, or you could look at Han Solo in Star Wars, or Thelma and Louise. The rebel is fearless, they're uncompromising, and they are also very creative. The rebel calls the hero to break the rules, it's pretty obvious. Examples of rebel brands in the commercial world would be Virgin or Levi Jeans. Next we've got the Magician Mentor. And the magicians, well the famous ones we can think of are like Gandalf or Obi-Wan Kenobi or Mary Poppins or the Oracle from the Matrix. They are energetic, they tend to be playful, they're also quite mysterious. Magicians call our hero to use magical powers to do something amazing, to change the world. Magician brands tell us that our experience with them will change us. It could be something like a family trip to Disney or just using a different kind of deodorant. Then we have the jester. Jester mentors are like Bugs Bunny or Chris Rock the comedian or Tina Fey. And what a jester is doing is very intelligent and brave as well as being playful and funny. Because what they're doing is they're poking fun at the world. They are calling the hero to laugh at the world but in doing so, to laugh at the powerful people in the world. So there's a lot of truth in what a jester tells us. Jester brands are like Ben and Jerry's or Skittles. Then we move on to a more serious kind of mentor. This one is the Defender. And the Defender is someone like Diane Fossey, the wildlife campaigner, or Desmond Tutu, the apartheid campaigner, or Bob Geldof, who campaigned on poverty. They are strong. They tend to be selfless and resolute. The defender's call to the hero is a call to protect something special, or to protect somebody who's vulnerable. Defender brands could be, for example, Greenpeace, defending the earth, or UKIP, defending a vision of Britain. Or you may be a captain type of mentor. Captains are like Martin Luther King, or Rosa Parks, or the Occupy movement. Captains are idealistic, they are tireless, and they are very brave. They're calling the hero to some incredible, bold action, often to fight an injustice or to right a wrong. Captain brands, though, can include things like Nike, with their call, just do it. Finally, we come to the Muse mentor. Now, the Muse could be like Robin Williams in Dead Poet Society, or Malali Shavsai, or your favourite teacher. They are humble. They're also inspiring and very creative, but they're trying to bring out the creativity in you. So they call the hero to express him or herself. Great examples of Muse brands would be Apple. Think different was their advertising slogan. Look at the different mentors and work out which one most closely fits how you feel about your role in this process. So ask yourself, how are you calling your hero? Are you calling them to have fun, to break rules, to, to be more creative? And then ask, how are you going to actually help them to do that?